It's Thanksgiving and we're going to vlog our day. We will get to Gobble Goblin right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we upload a new video. Video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Sort of. <laughs> Maybe weird that you're watching this on Thanksgiving. It's not the magic of television. Right. We just celebrate Thanksgiving in our house on Wednesdays. It just makes it way easier. I mean, my brother works for a grocery company. I mean, this is very hectic season, and it just makes it easier to do it on Wednesday, like in the afternoon. When you can still go get a stick of butter. That's what I From like. the grocery store if you're running out. As somebody who does a lot of the cooking for Thanksgiving, even though we celebrate Thanksgiving at Rachel's mom's house, I usually do a lot of cooking and bring dishes with us. And it's always nice because I'm always forgetting something. As stocked as my pantry is, as stocked as my refrigerator is, there's always that odd weird ingredient that I don't have or I ran out or... The kids ate and didn't tell me that they ate. Exactly. Like, we have just enough pecans for this recipe. And then you're like, where did it go? And Caleb's actually chewing it. As yeah. you're saying, like, I don't know. Where did it go? What is the ingredient that you always find on Thanksgiving or Christmas or some holiday where the store's closed where you're like, dang it. What happened? How, what? And you're like, I wish the grocery store was up. Let us know down below. What is the ingredient that you always the run Homer out of that you need? Simpson don't. Yeah. Exactly. So now the other reason that we do Thanksgiving on Wednesday is because we're one of those people. We are Black Friday shoppers yeah. from way back. It started when you have three kids, you're you cutting corners money. wherever you need to cut corners. And usually, you know, the toy of the season is on sale right. that day. You and know? we're really good at finding the deals. Like Rachel's mom used to like give us money for the kids for their Christmas presents. And she's like... You guys are in charge of shopping me. for my gifts to the kids because you're going to take, you know, my 50 bucks and turn it into $200 in presents. We are well known for making dollars scream. Yeah. So we didn't want to um, have Thanksgiving be like us sitting there at the table looking at our watch constantly waiting to dash. Yeah. So it was like, what can we do to avoid that and be present for Thanksgiving? Well, it meant moving Thanksgiving. And I don't necessarily agree with them holding all these sales on Thursday, but since now we do Thanksgiving on Wednesday, I don't mind as much, but we you know, like really do like to just get out now and people watch. We're not even out for the sales so much. Well, maybe the electronic sales. And also to like bring a little cheer to some of the retailers who are having to work on that day. Yeah, a lot of times we like to go grab some trays of cookies or something like that, which we need to do that today. And we will probably bring be that to them. Shifting to some like maybe bath bombs and stuff yeah. like that. So we're not spreading the sugar, but we're still spreading the love. Just something to tell them like, hey, like we know it really stinks that you have to work on Thanksgiving, so we're trying to cheer you up a little bit. Exactly. So we like to do that. So this is going to be a busy day because it is Wednesday and because we are going to be live streaming on Thursday, the day you're watching this. Hopefully you're watching this before the live stream. The live stream is going to be at 12 noon Eastern time on Thanksgiving Day, Yay! which is tomorrow for us, today for you guys. Mm -hmm. We're going to live stream. we got to get ready for our 12 days of Christmas, which starts on Sunday. Which means that i got to decorate the set differently. Yeah, you're doing the set. And if you guys are seeing this, a little sneak peek. We just got the last two people for the 12 days of Christmas, and one of them is really good. We've got a couple of cookbooks signed by Carrie Brown. And Wait, she is going to join us on the live stream on that day, which is going to be Sunday, December 8th. I am so geeking out about <laughs> this. Like, I can't even tell you. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm going to make it weird. 
Yeah. Like, I know it. And I'm going to try to be cool, but I'm going to make it weird because she's so awesome. And to make it even weirder, by the way, and to just not let, add any more stress to you, she's coming on on a Sunday, so we'll be, like, at church that day. Well, maybe the first layer of, like, crazy, you know, Chris Farley, Tommy Boy energy that I usually bring to, like, meeting somebody will be burned off. So that I can be like almost a normal person when I meet her. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome if I wasn't like this level of crazy? Yeah. So then in addition to Carrie Brown, we also got keto bars. So um, I'm going to put the graphic up right now so you guys can see the graphic of what our 12 days of Chris or keto. We keep saying 12 days of Christmas, but it's the 12 days of keto. We will probably say Merry Christmas a billion times during the season. So just brace yourself for that. We yep. are Merry Christmas folks. Yes. Um, but yes, it is the 12 days of keto. Yep. And so, yeah, so we have to do that. I have to go to work. I have some work to do because since like I was saying before we have that and then we want to take Friday off this is usually like our time to ourselves kids go to their other parents or they just go hang out with friends and stuff on Friday or they go shopping so we take these two days to the Rachel and Joe day well and it's not like brown chicken brown cow it's like just us hanging out together yeah. and being able to go someplace as adults have a conversation have a cup of coffee like yeah. Date so, night. So because of that, and I'm not working on Thursday and Friday, I gotta go get the church cut. I've got a new customer I gotta cut. Then I gotta come home. I've gotta do some cooking. And this is the first year in a long time. I'm not doing the turkey, which is really weirding me out. Do you feel like something's not right? I do. Like, do you keep checking and be like, what am I missing? Usually, the turkey. I'm smoking a turkey and deep frying a turkey and bringing it all to Rachel's mom's house. And this year, she's cooking the turkeys and I'm just doing the sides. M Mama Bear's like, I got this kids so i'm doing the keto connect sweet potato casserole which of course. you've never made that it's like amazing wow like there's no sense no reason to modify the only modification i may make on this one this year is because i happen to have it is taking some of that cinnamon pecan lollies clusters yes. and sprinkling that across please, the top please, please i don't i don't know how much we have left either that or i'm going to come combine a bunch of them that better not be caleb that better not be that one ingredient that Joe is like, don't! No. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we got to do that. Uh, I think we're doing some just uh, loaded mashed cauliflower because that's what Caleb likes. Yes. I made our chocolate cream pie that with the keto chow. Uh, link up here for that video if you haven't seen that. Uh, we also made, uh, what else are we going to make? We're possibly going to make... The Cheez-Its. Oh, Cheez-Its, just this little thing. And, uh, yeah, releasing that video today, uh, yesterday for when you guys are seeing that so go so check good. that out those are really good i don't know what else i'll find some other things i'm sure to me uh, but yeah it's gonna be a super busy day so we'll try to get we're gonna try to vlog and then of course we're gonna show you guys what we eat during thanksgiving because we are keeping thanks keto for thanksgiving with so us. first up for me is some coffee because this day is gonna need to be fueled by caffeine yep. for me to keep going and i'm starting out with some perfect keto salted caramel keto collagen because my hair has been jacked up lately yeah now rachel and people always say like oh well you know what about rachel's hair rachel's got like the thinnest hair in the world she's my got a life. lot of it but she's got super thin hair, so keeping it short, we're My trying to whole thicken it up. Life. I was like one of those kids that was like three years old before they even had hair. I look like Joe, and you'd like stick a like glue a bow to my forehead, when, you know, for three years. Like it's really hard for me to grow yeah. hair. So. So she's using a lot of the perfect keto collagen, having a great deal on Friday. Um, so, you know, listen, we're one of those people. We always want to try to save people money. There's some good deals now with them. I'm telling you, Don't wait till Friday, <laughs> wait till Friday. There's a link down in the description. That video will come out when you guys are seeing this tonight at midnight with like what their sale is uh it's a really good sale so don't buy anything today wait till tomorrow we're terrible i'm telling you we're don't saving you this. a bunch of money we're gonna we're trying to save you guys a bunch of money yeah okay um yeah so she's got that and because i plan on gorging you know just on turkey and stuff because i love turkey i am going to hard fast between now and we eat so i'm just doing water yeah, so this is one of those times when, if you would call it like a keto cheat day, our cheat is a lot of food, more calories, but we keep it keto. Yep. That's just us. So I'm going to go to work. Rachel's going to start cleaning, I guess. <sighs> that sounds like fun. And we will check in with you guys later. Oh my gracious. So it is 
Thanksgiving and Charity is allowing herself to just relax and enjoy the day. Just kidding, this is every day, every day, all day long. Charity, get up and do something. I need help cleaning this house. Charity, please help me. I feel like you're giving me a not so subtle message about what you want to be eating later today. Is this a not so subtle message? Turkey. So over here we have the cauliflower cooking. We have three heads in there so that we can make the sweet potato casserole and then we're also going to make loaded mash fake potatoes. And then we have two pounds of ground beef along with some cream cheese. I got about four ounces of cream cheese in here that we're cooking down so we can make Rachel's favorite thing which is the bacon cheeseburger casserole because that's what she wants for Thanksgiving. It is, and now I'm on my way to Walmart because we are out of cream cheese. I don't know how this happened, but that is the last of our cream cheese. I can't believe that, because I always have like 12 bricks of cream cheese in the house, and there's none left. But this is why we do Thanksgiving on Wednesday, because we could run to the store and get something when we don't have it. Exactly. Of course, I only have like an hour to do all this cooking before we have to get to your mom's house. No pressure. Bacon cheeseburger casserole is ready to go in the oven. We're gonna cook it like this, and then the last 10 minutes, I'm gonna put more cheese across the top so it doesn't get too brown. This is a family favorite. Everybody loves eating this. Uh, recipe is up there in the corner, as well as linked down below in the description box. On to the sweet potato casserole, and we're gonna use our food processor for this. I'm gonna have to put down the camera, because I can't do this with one hand. So we're just gonna puree the cauliflower to make the sweet potato casserole. Now that everything is all pureed up, we're going to add to that some allulose. Sorry about the dishwasher running. We're gonna go with some vanilla. A couple of eggs. We're actually gonna put in three eggs. And then finally, what's going to make this sweet potato casserole? Some kumpian. I've got about a cup and a half in there. Put the top back on and get it going. Now we're just gonna pour this into our casserole dish. Now we're just gonna put this into the oven for about 20 minutes and then the last five minutes we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna put on some Lolly's cinnamon pecan granola across the top. It's gonna be so good. So the other day I was in a keto Facebook group and somebody had asked the question of, if you only had room for one appliance in your kitchen, either a KitchenAid stand mixer or a food processor, which one should you get? And I'm gonna tell you, as somebody who owns both of them, uh, and I have for years, like long before keto, I would highly recommend getting a food processor over a KitchenAid stand mixer for a keto kitchen. Uh, and the reason being is like before keto, I used my stand mixer all the time and I hardly ever used the food processor. But now that I do keto and now that I pay more attention to ingredients and try to get healthier ingredients. I find I use the food processor a lot and hardly ever use my KitchenAid stand mixer, unless we're doing like a big recipe. Uh, but with the food processor, you can get blocks of cheese and shred them. You can slice up your vegetables. You know, you can puree your cauliflower like I'm doing here for a loaded cauliflower. You know, you can make your rice cauliflower. There are so many more uses for a food processor when it comes to a keto kitchen than one of those big KitchenAid stand mixers. Onto the loaded mashed potatoes or loaded cauliflower. Same thing, puree up our cauliflower and then we'll add in the cream after it gets uh, pureed down a little bit. Okay, so to this we're gonna add some butter, some sour cream, some cheese, and then we're gonna do quarter of a teaspoon of a uh, cognac flour. Blend this up. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some salt. Not measuring, just kind of know how much I need. And some garlic powder. It's about a teaspoon. And then just a little bit of black pepper, maybe a quarter to a half a teaspoon. Now we're gonna pour this into our casserole dish. 
And then finally, I've got some bacon here. I'm just gonna put that in there. Stir it all in. I don't put this in a food processor because it'll kind of chop it up too much. So this, this is probably about five slices of bacon. Now we'll just put this in the oven and we'll top it off with a little bit of cheese like right at the end to melt. Some people are looking for a really cute outfit for Thanksgiving. Meanwhile, I am shopping for my outfit in the pajamas because my uniform for Thanksgiving is pajama pants. Let's check on our cheeseburger casserole. Should be time to put some cheese on there. Ooh, look at that. So yeah, we're gonna put some cheese across the top of this just to melt. If you guys have not made this, you need to. If you were a fan of like fast food cheeseburgers, I'm telling you, this tastes just like a cheeseburger from McDonald's. If you like that kind of thing. Put that back in the oven for about five minutes to melt the cheese. So just a couple more things to make and I still have 45 minutes before we have to be at Rachel's mom's house. Unfortunately, first I'm gonna have to clean the kitchen because I'm just out of room. Time to check on the cheeseburger casserole and the sweet potato casserole. Ooh, look at that. We're gonna have to take this out. Let me put down the camera. So this is done. So we're gonna take some of this Lolly's cinnamon pecan cookie clusters and crumble it along the top. Probably about two servings of this. Ooh, look at that pecan. If you have not tried this Lolly's, you need to. She's having a great Cyber Monday sale. I'll leave a link uh, down in the description. You can also use the code 2 Crazy Ketos and you get 10% off. And if you use that code, it helps out the channel. We're gonna put this back in the oven for just a couple minutes to kind of brown that up. Are you proud of me? I sort of cleaned as I went along. It's better than I expected to come home to. When you started cooking after I've been like cleaning all morning, I was like, I need to leave. Well, it was clean, then I did round two. So now it's gotta be cleaned again, but guess what? It's all good. That's not my job. That's not your job. That's what we have children for. That is correct. Okay, last thing to make, I've gotta make some gravy. I've got some turkey drippings from the turkey we made the other day. We're gonna add to that, sorry about that, a couple of tablespoons of butter. This one I'm just kind of uh, adding to taste. We're gonna put probably about a teaspoon and a half of salt, a little bit of pepper, onion powder, and then about a half a cup of heavy cream. Okay, so we're gonna let this come back to a boil and melt the butter and combine everything. And then we're going to whisk in a little bit of this cognac flour. This works much better for gravies over xanthan gum. Okay, so this is boiling. We're gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon of the cognac flour. The cognac flour doesn't thicken up right away. So you wanna do a little bit at a time, kinda put in about a quarter of a teaspoon, let it thicken up a little bit then see if you need more and just go about a quarter of a teaspoon at a time. We'll probably end up between a half to three quarters of a teaspoon. It all depends on how thick you like your gravy. What are you doing? Just chopping up some cheese to go with our Cheez-Its crackers. With that cheese is disgusting. I actually like it. We it's bought good. this cheese. First of all, it's green. Show it. It's you like, gotta show it. Oh, sorry. It's like sage. Yeah, we cheese. got it at Aldi's. It was like a Halloween cheese. It was like sage infused cheddar. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite. And I love cheese. It's very, I think it's interesting. Who said you could take the cheese outs? Oh, they gotta go. I don't have any more cheese left. Please leave those things. They're no, it, you at least leave half of them here. Cheese its with cheese on them. No. Okay, so what are you leaving? You're gonna I go am. over to mom's house? Okay, so take this with you. So this is our keto chow chocolate cream pie. It's been in the freezer. So I had to pre-score it. We still have to be cut, but you can't cut through it right now. But if you leave this, people are going to think that like, you should cut this into like eight pieces and they won't be able to finish it. Yeah, it, they look like small pieces, but they are very filling. Plus you can see, look at how thick this pie crust is. So 
Yeah, so I pre-scored it and then we'll have to, when it thaws a little bit, cut it down a little bit more. So take that with you and then you can take the cheeseburger casserole. And I'm totally ready for Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving uniform is always pajama pants. We need to, on the Black Friday deals tomorrow, go look for our matching pajamas because we wear matching pajamas. Yes. So this gravy is the exact thickness I like. I ended up putting in a half a teaspoon total of the cognac flour. So we're going to take this off of the heat and then we're gonna check on the sweet potato casserole. Ooh, look at that, Rachel. Oh my goodness. You, you can lollies. smell the lollies. Mm -hmm. You can just smell that cinnamon. Okay, Rachel, you have got to try this considering I just literally threw it together. Oh my gosh. This wow. is like the perfect thickness. That looks like the stuff you buy in a jar. Mm. And does that have flavor or what? That is like, it's like the flavor Heavy cream, rippling. butter, cognac flour, and then you had some uh, of the turkey drippings from the turkey we made the other day Oof. with the fat in it. Of course. I have no idea of the calorie count of that or the fat content, but it's going to be a lot. We're not asking any questions today. Here's a lineup of what we are bringing to mom's house. We've got cheeseburger casserole, sweet potato casserole, loaded mashed potatoes, but it's actually cauliflower with a lot of bacon in it. We've got our gravy. We've got our keto chow chocolate cream pie. And then since the only desserts we have that is that, we're having creamy goody crunch. You better bring yourself another pint. <laughs> so here we are at my mom's house. She is all about Thanksgiving, as you can see even to greet you when you come in the door. She is all about Thanksgiving. When you come in, we've got the table set right here and we're gonna just start putting out the food right here. We keep it super casual. I know a lot of people will get like, you know, use fancy dishes and my mom was way into the fancy dishes for a long time, it was hard for us to convince her to use paper plates, but we would lose her for like four hours after dinner. So this just made it so much easier. So here is the kids table, but we like to try to keep it fun. We always have a craft of some sort um, to do. And I brought sequins for kids. We have a giant tray of green bean casserole by request and um, a just a turkey breast cooking because some people just like the turkey breast and my mom's always panicked that we're not going to have enough meat. My mother has every nook and cranny of this house cooking some kind of food. So we've got broccoli in the microwave. There is Mr. Tom Turkey working on getting done. And here on the island, she's got some corn pudding. It's delicious. So that's cooking here. But wait, there's more. This is the grandchildren's playroom. And this woman is cooking up Cornish game hens in this room in her air fryer. So yeah. So patios are for relaxing and swimming, right? Wrong. They are more counter space and more small appliance space for cooking the grandbaby's mac and cheese. I am already eyeing this hammock, like that's my spot. I am going to make it to that hammock. And I think that this swan is the only bird that hasn't been cooked today. Let's start off the Thanksgiving party right. Well, we have to wait for everybody else to get here, even though I'm starving. So I'm having a bang. And that's my plate. Turkey with gravy, loaded mashed potatoes, cauliflower, bacon cheeseburger, keto cranberry sauce, sweet potato casserole, Cheez-Its. So here is my plate. I got some cheeseburger casserole, broccoli, um, definitely that Keto Connect sweet potatoes, and I've got a turkey breast with gravy. So I really feel like a wuss today, but I was only able to get two plates down. Like I'm very frustrated with myself. So I'm just gonna move on to dessert because I'm like, I'm, I'm getting pretty fat, nasty full, but I want my dessert in. <laughs> So what are we having? I'm having some ice cream 
a slice of the um, keto chow chocolate pie and I'm gonna drink some hot tea because my throat is like aggravating me. That's from all the dust of like trying to redecorate the house. This is why I should never clean. That's right. Cleaning is bad for your health. So we're sitting in the bathroom. We're still at Rachel's mom's house. I'm like beyond full. There was like full was here and I'm somewhere up like out of the camera shot. Now we're not in the bathroom because we're full and like getting sick. We're in the bathroom no. because it's loud here. These people are playing poker and just having a good time. It's this, it's the sign of a successful Thanksgiving. Yeah. So uh, we didn't really do any filming during eating or anything. We just wanted to respect everybody and have like some family time and everything. Also, I had tunnel vision on my food. Yeah, so I showed you guys what I ate. I only ate one plate. I ate like everything on my plate, but I only ate one plate. I made a happy plate <laughs> dose. Two times. <laughs> and then in addition, I had the chocolate cream pie, the keto chocolate, chocolate cream pie. Me and too. I had one serving of the Goody Beats, what is that, creamy Goody Crunch ice cream whatever it is me too so <laughs> so that's pretty much like what our thanksgiving is then we would have been watching like the mandalorian <gasps> so on netflix or not netflix on disney good right disney plus yes becky brought her disney plus over and it is so good oh <laughs> so good i'm now like i'm i'm upset because now you're gonna have to wait Anthony told you don't watch this yet. I have to go and rewatch it. There was no point because everybody is screaming and I cannot enjoy a TV oh, show. Oh, I loved it. Everybody is talking. I couldn't hear half of what's going on. So I finally like put my head back. I'm like, I'm closing my eyes for five minutes because I have to go home and edit videos. I actually got a picture that we could include in here if you want to of, of Joe. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Closing his eyes for a few minutes. Yeah. But it was just, it was too loud. I can sleep through everybody talking, but I cannot watch a TV show or watch a movie with everybody talking. It just annoys me. Well, I love it because it's just like the energy of the whole family being together and watching something together. So Makes me happy. So we are going to close this out um, later on today, guys. We're going to put this up in the morning. Hopefully I can get home and get this thing edited. Uh, don't forget to join us at 12 o'clock Eastern time for our live stream. If you're around, like yeah. make sure your family comes first today. Family's first today. That's the most important thing. I mean, even like coming in, like when you get ready to eat today, like don't worry about anything. You want to make the memories with your family. You're not going to like remember later on down the line, like, oh, I had a piece of pie and I was keto. What you are going to remember is these times that you have with your family. So Make Very sure precious. your family comes first. Like if you're cooking and have nothing to do and you have a TV or a computer in your kitchen, join us for the live stream. Otherwise, we will talk to you guys a little later. Yeah. So that is our video for today. So please just favorite, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.